I've been waiting for you. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. We've already cleared your transfers from criminal affairs. This is an order from the Union itself. Consider it a promotion you can't turn down. An order from the Union? W wait, wait a minute, Commander. I'm still the captain around here. And these two... They're my kids. You couldn't have run this by me before. Desperate times, Max. Captain or not, surely you understand the position humankind is in. I understand how you must feel, but I need you to be flexible. Ah, oh, shit. Well then, I'll give you the short explanation. As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction. Most believe this is due to mass corruption from the gates. But the truth is, there are worse dangers, which the Union finds prudent to keep classified. Dangers from beyond the gates. Invaders from a dimension outside our own. Chimeras like the ones you've just seen for the first time. They're invisible to the naked eye, but they cast a dimensional shadow in certain circumstances. That's how we were able to detect them in the first place. But still, we were powerless to stop them. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Chimeras dragged countless victims back to their dimension. Their corruption tainted the land itself, with most of the planet uninhabitable, we survivors fled here, to this artificial island we call the Ark. We thought we were safe, and we were for a while. But as you know all too well, it didn't last. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world, but I refuse to accept such a fate for our species. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. By neurologically sinking captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. The legions gave you your first look at the dangers we truly face, but also a taste of the pinnacle of human ingenuity. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with the legion. People like you. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process right now, but... Your species needs you. Your species chose you. The two of you hold the future of humankind in your hands. We're counting on you. And now, I hand you over to him. Well, it's been a while, huh? Your dad told me you'd join the police, but uh, I never imagined we'd see you here in Neuron. But growing up with Max around, it's no surprise you turned out tough. Now that you guys are here, let me officially welcome you to the team. Oh, you should have seen Max's face when he found out you were coming. But between us, I think he's happy you're here. There's only five of us right now, but there are more candidates waiting for the ARI to make more legions. I know the commander talks a lot of gloom and doom, but relax. More help is on the way. Uh, eventually. Anyway, first things first. It's time to get to know your legion.
There's a training room downstairs. We'll go there and work on your fundamentals. I'll call the others. Huh. Max isn't picking up. Uh, do me a favor and get him and Alicia for me, will you? I bet you'll find him up on the roof. I'll head downstairs and set up the training room. See you there in a bit. Oh, that's right. Open up the menu in your Legatus and you'll find a map of the station. It might come in handy if you get lost. What a powerful exposition dump to start us off today. <laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain, our first platinum game really hasn't in a, a bit, in a little he? bit. How long has it been since we last saw him? Uh, two years? Remember when Dad was in the hospital and Jin came to take care of us? His cooking was in the greatest, but when you think about it, Jin's always been there for us, huh? There's gotta be some way we can make it up to him. So I bet you weren't expecting this as we start off file number two. By the way, I did mix the terminology up last time. The files are the chapters. Uh, the verses are something kind of different entirely. It's, mm, I guess it, it is a little bit like the verses considering there are priority ones and then optional ones as opposed to like main verses and hidden ones you have to backtrack for. But we are starting off way outside of the action. Things have cooled down. We have downtime now to get into some of the things we can do in the menu, like turning in our orders, which you complete uh, during the files. It's just little mini objectives and then uh, medium and larger sized ones, like the critical path. There's also co-op play in this, which is, it's the most DMC3 addition I could think of for this. Since I joined Neura, uh, Neuron, been studying Chimera's firsthand. Oh my god, Gendo. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk to us. He's a little more uh, personable than Gendo, but he... Uh, obviously, he's fulfilling that same role. And they tell you that visually in the beginning. So nobody really has time for us just yet. Uh, we can also open this up, change our playstyle from there, learn uh, some some backstory about some things, some lore, and manually save from here. We're not going to do that yet. Instead, we are going to further explore the HQ. The fact that you have this and that you keep coming back here uh, to do so many things that you would normally do in a menu in a Platinum game it gives this place a lot of personality in life. And oh my god, Alan, who the hell are you? Was that a Legatus you've got there? Telling me they gave a stinking rookie a Legatus before the one and only Alan King? I'm still the best! I bet many of you are hoping he will be the rival character. We will see. <laughs> um, also, you can come into the locker room. And really start messing around uh, with your aesthetic. The equipment does not matter for gameplay. It's purely cosmetic. Uh, oh, and by the way, after we complete this file, we'll be able to fast travel around uh, the headquarters as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can give her tights. I like that look a lot. And then, as you can see, so much left to be filled in. Entire categories of equipment. Oh, there's our mascot. Like, entire categories of, equi of equipment haven't been filled in yet. So we will be unlocking that stuff as we go. Probably not going to spend too much time on it. As you could tell from the, the fact that you can color every individual thing, you can create some real monstrosities, for one some real visually challenging imagery, but also you can just go wild. You can have a time. Let's see, 
Maybe, oh, he's trying to fake sickness so he can get transferred. He had potential to use a Legion. Eh, not feeling it. And not only can we buy medicine uh, from her, we can also just learn a few things. In that case, nothing. But that's just because we're still so early into the game. And we'll just briefly stop at everyone. What do you know about the Captain and Alicia? So Julia is really suspicious about those two. Also, these are so cool. These are really cool vending machines. If you want, you can purchase uh, some things like uh, energy boosters and whatnot from the vending machines. Sometimes they can come in handy. But again, we're going to try to minimize our item usage. That guy's just hawking merch from the vending machine. <laughs> Michael Boone, amateur zoologist. They have a good, like, variety of types of people here. Uh, some of the side characters also have some, some pretty decent arcs to them. By the way, uh, this came up before, but I didn't clarify it in the video. This is not going to be 100%. Not at all. There is too much uh, really boring side content. There's a lot of good stuff, too, but no way am I doing 100% of this. There's some stuff that's just busy work. trying to reach you earlier, Dad. He told us to bring you down to the training room. Uh-huh. So that's the call you ignored earlier. So, what's the matter, Dad? Look, if I've never changed your diapers, you don't get to call me Dad. And neither do you, Akira. Just keep it professional. It's Captain here. I'm sure Jin can handle your training on his own. There's nothing I can teach you that he can't. Aw, he's just acting tough. You guys know he's just worried sick about you, right? Alicia, why do you keep doing that? Um, well... What? <laughs> Considering we're gainfully employed adults, shouldn't our captain take more responsibility for us than our father? Ugh! <laughs> it's gonna be fun having you guys around. Anyway, you two report to Jin for your training. T tell him I'm I'm busy. That goes for me too. Sorry, but make sure Jin teaches you a lot, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Ah. You don't have to keep it that professional. I mean, we're all on the same team now, after all. Yes, man. Hmm. I mean, thanks. You know, Alicia seems nice. She really seems to get along well with Dad. I mean, the captain. <sighs> Seeing him here with Jen and Alicia. It's a side of him I've never seen before, for sure. It feels... Uh, weird. So our objective right now is to go train with Jin, uh, which is just them contextualizing an eventual tutorial. We have this that I want to do first. This is going to seem weird for a second, and then it's going to seem a better kind of weird. First, it seems dodgy weird, but then you get the toilet paper and this happens, Bell starts talking to you. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, if you can hear me, it must be very special. Bell is a fairy who watches over the toilets. 
It's true, really, but I need your help. See, there's no paper left in this stall. Could you give me some? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we gave Belle the tissue. For the toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, and now the toilet's appropriately blessed. Oh, no, it happened again because we are our little demons and gave her only a square. But luckily, we can help her out. We can collect toilet paper. And sometimes we can just collect toilets. For the the toilet fay. Oh, it's Doctor Disrespect. That uh, that must be Bell. So there are two main types of collectibles in Astral Chain. Uh, the toilets are one, and we will encounter the other one. And it's one of my favorite game collectibles, <laughs> just for what it is. It's pretty cool. Uh, there are 12 files in the game, and there is one uh, toilet something in every file. We haven't come across file twos yet. I forgot about file ones in are. the moment. Wait, where's the captain and Alicia? Oh, they, uh, the captain said you could handle it. Uh, that guy's more sensitive than he looks. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing, I guess. All right, I'll run you through the basics. Before we're we just... continue, strap this thing on your back. Oh yeah, let's strap more shit, more shit to us. Just strap all the shit to us. We have our our fucking uh, it, it character action dual discs for our stands, and now we have a little um uh, a proton pack for them too. Great, looks like it fits. That's your Legatus Cradle. Neuron regulations say to keep your Legatus stowed in that cradle when you're not out in the field. And here's your Integrated Reality Imaging System, Iris. You'll forget how you ever cracked cases without it. All right, let's start with an easy one. Point your Iris at the computer terminal over there. So that line about cracking cases and the fact that we have this now, uh, which we can activate to get what is essentially uh, detective vision should tell you a lot about how we're going to interact with the world when we're not in combat. It's a little bit different for them, whereas something like Bayonetta is really just you running from combat zone to combat zone. It's a self-guided routine, so you can skip over anything you don't think you need to cover. And like maybe 5% of that downtime between fights is something else like some kind of traversal right, or puzzle or something Try and dodge the most of the time though it's oh, just bad. fighting Let's try a astral dodge chain dodge mixes it up a little bit more feel like take advantage of that Let's give it a shot uh speaking of bayo by the way you know how bayo had witch time well when we perform this correctly like so i didn't follow up the attack on that but i got the evade uh, notice the slowdown. Not bad. And I love the unique follow-up attack post-perfect dodge. Uh, but so we need a name program. for that, don't we? Bayonetta had witch right, time. That's begin. appropriate. So what, else, what, what, be, what would be appropriate here? We're gonna call that shit bastard time. Alright, let's begin. Send out your legion like you're throwing it at a target. That'll start you off on the right. It's good for when your target's high up or otherwise out of reach. So when he says throw it, you can do this with a little flick of the stick forward to send him lunging in. Okay, now pull your legion back. Part of the job is knowing when to pull your legion out of trouble. And then we can, the same way, retract. Now the legion can't stay out forever. You've got to keep an eye on its limiter gauge or there could be trouble. If that gauge hits zero, you won't be able to call the Legion back out until it fills up again. Be sure to give the Legion a break to cool down every now and then. All right, switch your Legion off. Fills up See? pretty quick. 
Once you call off the Legion, the limiter gauge starts filling back up. Always watch your gauge. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. And In now the, the fun circle, <laughs> the fun starts. The fun now move stops. The Legion through the blue <laughs> circles that appear around you. So, we can move the Legion manually. But not only not that, bad. we can move our character at the same time. That's all for this program. Are you starting to see where this where we're sliding slowly All into right, that deep begin. pit. Shit's gonna get real cool. You can use your Legion's astral chain to move your Legion around the target and try to wrap it up in your chain. Like right now. So since we can both move at the same time and the chain is a physical object. That'll keep it still for a while. And you'll be able to pump mm -hmm. it defenseless. Mm. It doesn't actually hurt, so it makes a good way to subdue fleeing suspects, too. That's all for this program. But wait, there's right, more chain counter. Here's something cool you can do with yeah, your yeah. astral chain. First, watch the target for a sign that it's going to charge. When it does, move your legion and try to stop it with the chain. You can stop it with the chain and throw it back where it came from. So, figure out his trajectory. Create a chain across nice it. Work. And You're a slingshot them. That's all oh my great. god, this game! And we ain't done. This is like the quote unquote, air, like the scare quote advanced tech that the game is willing to tell you about. That'll do for today. But you know, there's so much shit. There are so many secrets here that the game is not willing to give up yet. There is some advanced stuff. The police have requested neurons assistance. Please report to the command room. Repeat. The police have requested neurons assistance. Please report to the command room. Well, looks like it's time for your first assignment. I'll go on ahead, and don't keep us all waiting, guys. <laughs> it figures we'd even get transferred to a new department together. It feels kind of weird to be saying this to my own sister, but... Well, gotta say, it's nice working with you. Well, it's gonna take a while to get used to all this, but I'm sure we can show Dad we're up to it. If we work hard, I'm sure he'll come around in no time. We're uh, gonna end this here today. Please, please, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, favorite the video, ring the bell, spread the word. That helps so much. Uh, all of it does. I know this call to action all the time isn't fun for you or me, but it genuinely does make a difference. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.